Hey guys, welcome to the Audi RS6, the new one for 2020. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing a bit of a POV drive for you guys to see what it's like to drive this unbelievable beast. For those who haven't seen my review video, a quick bit of info on this thing. This car is a four liter V8 by turbo engine with mild hybrid system, which produces 600 PS, 800 Newton meters of torque and delivers a zero to 62 time in just 3.2, uh, 3.6 seconds. Getting inside the car, we have unbelievable seats. The quality of these seats are insane. Gorgeous dash, if I could fire her up quickly here for you. The car's already warm as I've already been filming a video, which is a good thing. Let's get that down there. We'll go straight into kind of RS mode. Look at that, we're all warm, which is good. Push the RS mode button and you are presented with the RS dash, the RS exhaust switches itself on, and we're able to go and have a bit of fun. The first thing we'll do is a quick launch, just so that you guys can just see how this thing accelerates. Are we off? We are off. So uh, I'll show you a quick launch, just to show you some acceleration as well. Here we go. That is, that wasn't even 60, I don't think, but um, that was very, very quick. That I can tell you. We get a very nice head up display as well, which you'll be able to see there guys. Super, super nice, big fan of that. And as we enter the uh, national speed into second, that's how quickly we get to 60 in this car. It is an absolute brute. But um, it's such a pleasurable drive. And if you take yourself out of RS mode as well, we, uh, we lose all that exhaust noise. We get some more comfort through the suspension. The virtual cockpit changes as well. And uh, we're basically chilling. It's very, very nice, very, very comfortable. But we want to go back into RS mode because uh, we enjoy driving. Typical British weather, we get a nice bit of rain. I'll tell you what though guys, the head up display is brilliant. There is so much information displayed in this driver's position. It is unbelievably good. The comfort of driving this car as well is just, it's phenomenal. It is a brilliant all round car. The seats, very, very nice stitching, very comfy, as comfy and uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of this. over 60 that's the problem you don't really know how uh, how fast you're going in this it is that quick guys absolutely insane right i'll be quiet for a couple of minutes and just let you enjoy the noise of this four liter v8 about this car in RS mode you get some very delicious pops and crackles out the back of the exhaust I mean what do you think of the sound guys comment below and also what do you think of the uh, this POV style video I'm very tempted to do one of these for every press car I get because uh, I know you guys like seeing this kind of view and it gives you a chance to see what it's like to drive this I guess it gives you a chance to drive it just before we uh, get into a 40 zone there we go we'll slow her down and we'll cruise for a bit. 
But yeah, as I said, you know, if you haven't seen my review video, then I definitely suggest watching this in terms of kind of what you get from this car in terms of options, spec, the cost. This is £134,000, this car is a lot of money. Uh, but it's a lot of car for the money, which I think is absolutely brilliant. I mean, if you look at the, the arches as well, you can just see how flared they are and how aggressive they are. This car is wide. It weighs just, uh, just over two tons. And really, you don't really notice that, obviously in straight lines, when you start to really attack, attack the corners, that's when I think you would notice it a bit more. But that's okay, you know, for what this car is, this is a kind of car that you would quite happily drive you know on a very long family holiday you've got so much room in the back to put your well your entire family and some you know we've just got little rollo our dog i mean this would be a brilliant car for him to just enjoy because if i take it like i said i'll take it back out of the rs mode uh go into normal adjust the virtual cockpit and of course the other thing with the virtual cockpit is you get the uh you get the maps which is cool uh, so you can have different kind of viewpoints uh, if you decided to go for Apple CarPlay as well it doesn't display on here which is a shame I think only the TTRS displays Apple CarPlay in the center of the virtual cockpit but it does display over here but we are joining a dual carriageway now so we'll be able to punch it back up to 60 oh 70 even that's good news if I slow her right down so we can really enter here here we go first gear acceleration Just one squirt of that throttle and you are absolutely flying. Absolutely flying. And that's why with this thing on something like an Autobahn, this Audi RS6, very nice Panamera. This Audi RS6 will just, it's just, it's a mile cruncher. Got no one behind us. Let me just drop it down a little bit. And of course, you've got the eight-speed ZF gearbox in this, uh, sorry, eight-speed uh, Tiptronic gearbox in this, which is unbelievably good. It is, the gear changes are rapid. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of this car, guys. I, I love the noise more than anything. That noise is just such a, a V8 grunt. Here you go, one more acceleration. Oh, we like that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all very soon on the next video. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.